it's another Thursday and getting ready for Time Massage Jam this evening. Tonight's the first night we'll be offering CE credit for the class. And I'm really interested to see how massage therapists are gonna respond. I have this real challenge with it because if we're successful, that's great, but I've been giving away what I do for five years and massage therapists pay almost no attention. Why? It's such a weird like marketing thing. It's like, is it people's perception of value? So for instance, uh, online I give away a free time massage workbook. Do people perceive that the workbook isn't worth anything because I give it away? Because I consistently, in my opinion, give away more content of higher quality than any other educator and massage therapist that I know of. In long term, I know I'm gonna win, it's just tweaking things. If massage therapists need CE credit, I'm just gonna give it to them. I become a bit more brazen in how I deal with things and I'm still trying to figure out the sort of neuroplasticity and the consciousness needed for real growth to be able to scale my business. Because there's time and money, but consciousness is the one I think I grapple with more. Time, yeah, you manage. Money, sure, you have it, you use it, you spend it, you invest it, you do whatever. But consciousness is the part I can control. Consciousness is like the part that factors into like hard work. People wonder why I do what I do for so little money and the thing is, I have a nearly religious fervor about what I believe is the best body work in the United States. Maybe even the world in some ways. I'm damned and determined that I'm going to build what I do and lift massage therapists up out of poverty to deliver body work that could basically change the healthcare system in America. And I can do it from outside of the medical community. Reboot sessions answer three of the main problems that massage therapists have. They say, my hands hurt, the clients want more pressure, I need to make more income. What I'm delivering in that three hour session with the suspension system on a mat with the client clothed, very little cream or glide, is the complete opposite of what the massage industry currently sells. Massage is table, cream, glide, and nudity. I don't work on a table, I use very little cream or glide. <clears throat> the clients are not on a table. So, table, cream, glide, and nudity. Very little table, very little cream, very little glide, and the clients are completely clothed. That's what I meant to say. When you take away those things, what I offer is a massage because massage is the commodity that massage therapists were trained to give in school. And I come in and reboot your training because I'm gonna help you get rid of the illusions you were given in school and I'm gonna teach you how to deliver a more effective service that's easier on your body. And I know people in my industry are thinking I'm crazy and it's like, well, every entrepreneur was crazy until he sold something. My business is growing. I have the problems of growth. I just left a counseling session where I talked about my business for an hour. Why? Because it's driving me bonkers trying to figure out how to put this together to communicate it to you. Guys, you absolutely want this. If I told you right now that what I did was the Uber of massage, that our industry was the cab industry and that I created the Uber of massage, the only difference is I don't have an app. I can't scale it. I need you to get on board to help me build a better brand and that brand is a reboot sessions at three hours long. I know people aren't going to believe me and you won't believe me now, give me a couple years. You'll believe me, you'll understand because most massage therapists when they come get a session freak out and go I don't understand, wait what is this, this doesn't make any sense, this is not, this is not massage and it's like does it manipulate soft tissue? Then according to the laws it fits under massage regulation but it's not the service you were trained to deliver in school. I say, and I bank on this, it's more effective for you, it's more effective for the clients, and it gives them what they're really asking for. It gives them relief, particularly from chronic pain. 
I come from chronic pain. That's my bread and butter. I was in a car accident with a drunk driver. You know, my whole mission has been to create a better service to help me deal with my stuff and then to help my clients deal with their stuff and then to help you massage therapists and lift you out of poverty and give you a service that's gonna help your clients even more. Not a commodity, a brand, a reboot. I'm really excited, guys. Sometimes I get angry. Maybe there's too many F-bombs and fingers floating around in my videos, but I'm trying to give you something of value, of more value than any other educator. I look around at our industry and there are other educators that I aspire to work with in a way, but I'm trying to excel. I'm trying to go beyond anything I've seen in our industry, in the marketing, in the body work. You know, people are like, why do you need three hours? And I'm like, why not three hours? Would you be more relaxed after three hours? Could you do more effective work after three hours? Yes. It's not about working with more people. It's about working with the right people and having a real depth of connection with those clients and their nervous system so that they can really unwind and that pain can be diminished. That's to me is where the money is. That's where you, you shove all in and win the hand. That's where I want to go and I created a service that I want. You guys can reach out to me on any social media you use. I'm on every channel except musically at this point. I need to check them out. But uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, constant videos like this floating on my channel. I'll talk to you guys soon and let's get together and reboot the massage industry.